story of Christmas begins a long time ago in the sleepy northern town of Nazareth. In this town, there lived a young Jewish woman named Mary. Mary was going to be married soon to a good and honest man named Joseph. A few days before her engagement, Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel, who was sent to her by God from heaven. Gabriel came to Mary, speaking words of wisdom, and said, You will become pregnant by the Holy Spirit and give birth to a baby boy, and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son. Oh, for fuck's sakes! What happened to the fucking film? Sorry, folks, I forgot to tell you, man, I was fucked with some hash earlier trying to roll a joint and drop the piece on the film in there and it fucking went on fire. I was fucked. Ricky, what are you talking about? You melted my fucking film? There's ten more minutes of that story. What the fuck am I going to do here? No, no, it's no big deal, buddy. Listen, I read your word scripty thing and I drew all the pictures you need by hand, so you want to be able to tell the difference. It's fucking great. Ricky, what the fuck are you talking about? You can't draw. Well, I've been drawing a lot lately, actually, Bubs, and I'm pretty fucking good now. Better than I used to be. You're going to like it. Try it. Keep going, man. Jesus Christ, where the fuck was I? Keep going, Bubs. Um, uh, you will give birth to a baby boy, and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, man. What the fuck is that? Baby Jesus looks like we're all to our You know? Oh, looks pretty fucking close to the way I've heard him describe, man. I think it looks good. God, I can't believe you fucked this show up already. You're the one fucking it up. Just keep going. Fuck sakes. Um, Joseph was worried when he found out that Mary was pregnant before their marriage had taken place. Yeah, it man, fucking was. <laughs> Ricky, what the fuck is that? Is that Mary wearing a fucking walker dress? Well, I just mean if your fucking girlfriend was pregnant and you didn't bang her, you'd assume she was banging somebody else like the fucking belt man or the fucking mechanic. Would you? <laughs> mechanic? Ricky, what kind of a fucking mechanic would Mary and Joseph have back then? Like a fucking donkey mechanic? Maybe. We need someone to change his fucking hoof shoes and shit, wouldn't they? Fuck our hoof shoes. What is a hoof shoe? Jesus Christ, but you just stop fucking talking! Just keep it going, man. It's good. <sighs> to put Joseph at ease, the angel Gabriel appeared, appeared to Joseph in a dream and explained that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ricky, why the fuck does Gabriel have a handgun pointed at Joseph? <laughs> well, how the fuck does he know how Joseph's going to react when you're going over there telling guy, hey, listen, man, I know I was hovering around in your fucking bedroom the other night when you weren't there. Now your girlfriend's fucking mysteriously knocked up all of a sudden. Hey, it wasn't me, bud. Unless Joseph's a complete idiot, he's gonna fucking suspect Gabriel was the fucking one man. Just, Ricky, just shut the fuck up. The angel Gabriel was not fucking banging anybody. The angels of the bang. What the fuck do you know? Why wouldn't they? They'd probably be fucking awesome at banging, actually. They could just fucking hover over you with their wings and they could probably get in you in some crazy fucking positions. What the fuck is wrong with your fucking brain? I just mean if you had fucking floating powers. I mean, where could you just fucking hover around and fly around? Think of the crazy fucking shit you get going from the top, take a couple jabs from the front on, swoop around, a couple jabs from behind. It's fucking awesome. awesome. Right, all right. I wish Let's I was an angel. Get to the next part. Oh, fuck, that's ridiculous. Keep it going. After accepting that God fucking knocked up Mary, <laughs> Joseph got called back to his hometown because of some fucking census, so him and Mary headed there on a goddamn donkey. <laughs> and they were... Oh yeah, there's a fucking nice looking fucking donkey right there, Ricky. Well, I didn't know if that was partly true or what, because why did they take a fucking donkey when they can take a goddamn motorcycle? Ricky, they didn't have motorcycles back then, man. Who cares now anyway, Julie? This is all fine. Okay, Bubs, this is done. Let's just get They finally out. made it to fucking Bethlehem and they needed a place to stay, but no one at any of the fucking inns would take them in. Oh yeah, that's fucking lovely. Yeah. That's lovely. Well, I heard he was a fucking dicks back then. 